In this tutorial, we will teach you how to install Linux Mint. For that, first of all, you will need to download the Linux Mint image file. You can head over to linuxmint.com and move to the download section. Over here, you will be shown different versions, for example, a version without any kind of multimedia support, etc. For this tutorial, we will download the Cinnamon Edition. You will also get to choose whether you want to download the 32-bit version of the operating system or the 64-bit. The terms 32-bit and 64-bit refer to the way a computer's processor, also called a CPU, handles information. The 64-bit version of the operating system handles large amounts of random access memory, or RAM, more effectively than a 32-bit system. Moving on, now you can try the different mirror links to download the Linux Mint image file. Next, you need to create a live USB stick. You do have the option of creating a live CD, but if you have a netbook, for example, this may be a problem, since they don't have DVD-ROMs. For that purpose, we will be using a third-party application called UNet Boot In. Over here, you can download the application according to the operating system you're currently using. Once downloaded, simply run the application, and we can get started with making the live USB stick. Before getting started, make sure you have connected the USB to the system. We're using a 4GB USB here, and we have formatted it before using the application. Moving on, first of all, you'd have to choose Linux Mint from the distribution list. Next, you can select the 15 Live or 15 Live x64 option, if you have a 64-bit system, that is. If you're not sure whether you have a 64-bit system or not, choose the 15 Live option, which is the 32-bit version. Next, select the Disk Image option, and make sure you have the ISO option selected from the drop-down menu. With that done, click on the Browser button and select the Linux Mint ISO file that you just downloaded previously. With that done, make sure the USB drive option is selected for the type. Make sure that you select the correct drive here. You can double check by opening up My Computer. With that done, click on OK and it will start creating a bootable live USB. Once done, you can reboot the system. While rebooting, we will enter into the BIOS and move to the booting options. Make sure that the USB or removable disks are at the top of the boot priority. This will allow us to boot from the USB device. With that done, we will save the changes and exit the BIOS. Now Linux Mint will open up in live mode. To start with the installation process, simply click on the Install Linux Mint icon on the desktop here. First of all, you will be required to select the language. Next up, a notification will be displayed in front of you, telling you the required space and the fact that you should be connected to the internet during the installation process. This is very important since the installer will be downloading different components, like fonts, etc., before installing them. Next, you'll be given two options. Either erase the entire disk and install the operating system, or try something else, like resizing a partition, etc. If you select the option, you'll be redirected to this screen, where you can create new partition tables. This comes in handy when you want to run multiple operating systems. Moving back, let's select the first option here. Make sure you have a backup before pursuing this option. Next, you'll be required to select the time zone. Moving on, you'll also be required to choose a keyboard layout. Over here, we have kept the default options as they are. Last of all, you'll be required to enter the details, such as your name, your computer's name, your username, and password. If you want, you can even choose to encrypt your home folder by choosing this option. After that, the installation process will start automatically. Over here, you can see that it's downloading the language packs, so it's very important that you stay connected to the internet during the entire process. Once done, a notification window will appear telling you the system installation was successful. You can either continue testing the operating system or restart the computer. Let's restart the computer and remove the USB stick. Once the system reboots, you can see here that Linux Mint has been successfully installed with the user account already created. Let's enter the credentials and log in the user. And over here, you can see that the welcome screen is appearing. That means Linux Mint has been successfully installed on the system. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.